In this video we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to create some flat design clouds. Uh, they're very simple to make, just basically using rounded rectangles and circles. So let's get started today by heading up to our file menu, selecting a new document, and we're going to choose the web templates, and we'll just go with the usual 1280 by 1024 pixel um, setup. From here we're going to add in a background first of all. So you'll need your rectangle tool for that from your toolbox. Fill colour needs to be just a nice light blue. Okay, so just go through and play with the levers in the colour mixer there to pick one, or you can go over to the swatches and uh, pick one of those if you would prefer. You want to get rid of the stroke, we don't want a border on our sky, so we'll just have the fill colour. Start in the top left corner, drag out to the bottom right corner, and there's our sky. In my layers panel, I'm just going to Open layer 1, click on the rectangle there and lock it by hitting this empty box here, which will bring up a little padlock, meaning that our background is now locked into position. We can no longer edit it. From here we're going to draw um, a very basic cloud, starting with the rounded rectangle tool. So from your toolbox, hold your mouse down on the rectangle tool and get the rounded rectangle tool. In your properties, change the fill colour to pure white. And I want you to simply draw a skinny rounded rectangle like so. With your selection tool, click on any one of those little white circles you see near the corners of that document, uh, of that shape, sorry, and pull them in towards the center until you get some nice rounded corners. From here, I'll zoom in a little bit, we're going to draw some circles on top of this. Okay, now we need to go over to our rectangle tool and just choose the ellipse tool instead. Keep your fill color as white, Hold shift when you draw these so you get a perfect circle and just overlap a few circles on top of this rounded rectangle. If you want you can grab your selection tool and simply resize a few of these. Hold alt when you click on one and just drag off to duplicate it. Okay, it might be as easy if you do it that way. So it's just a matter now of trial and error, moving these around to see how they look. You might need to make some bigger, you might need to make some smaller, it's up to you. Okay, but hopefully you can see a bit of a cloud coming together there now. That's probably all we need to make a cloud, so it was a rounded rectangle with one, two, three circles sitting on top of it. Let's join all of these shapes together now to make one big shape, which will be the cloud. So I'm just going to click and drag over the top of that cloud to select everything. I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool in my toolbar. toolbar. And I'm just going to simply click and drag over the top of all of these shapes, making sure they're all selected. I'll turn a grey colour once they've been selected. So I've missed a few little bits in the middle there. And it should be just one big shape now that you can pick up, move around and resize as needed. Okay, to make it look a little bit better, we're going to put a shadow behind this cloud. So to do that, we need to duplicate this current cloud. So what I'm going to do is click on it with my selection tool and hold Alt and then click and drag away, and we get a bit of a shadow. Um, you can hold shift if you want, and just bring it down on the diagonal, about 45 degrees. And you just want a real little difference in their positions. Okay, so you can see this one on top is just slightly moved down and to the right of the original. I'm going to change the fill color of this one to black, so we can see it clearer. And then we're going to change the opacity to 10% and press enter. I'm then going to right click on this shadow, go to arrange and send it backward. That puts it behind our original cloud. And there's a shadow sitting behind that cloud now which will make it look a lot more realistic. You can highlight those two shapes, right click and group them together. And that is a cloud done. Okay, so that's just one cloud. I'll just show you one more that you can do. You don't have to use that rounded rectangle and instead you can just use a collage of circles. So using your ellipse tool again, uh, what we're going to do is change our fill color to white. And what I want you to do is hold shift and just draw a few circles overlapping one another. Some little ones, some big ones. Make about two rows worth of them. Until you see something like that. Okay, and there's your next cloud. If you want, you can adjust these. Do as you feel till you're happy with it. But that's another way we can do the cloud. You don't always have to have that straight bottom. Although I do think these ones look a bit better, this still looks very realistic. 
So once you've drawn it, just highlight it, and you'll see all the different circles I used. I'm going to grab my Shape Builder tool again, and click and drag over all of these circles, including the overlaps. I'm going to make one big shape, like so. Now once you've got this shape made, click on it with your Selection tool, and then hold Alt, and duplicate it. While you're still holding Alt, hold Shift, and move diagonally to the right, and just put a copy on top there. We'll change that copy's fill colour to black. Drop the opacity down here to 10% and press enter. Then right click on this shadow, arrange it and send it backward. That just pushes it behind the original cloud and you can see just a nice little shadow coming through underneath the cloud. So zooming back now, just highlight that cloud and its shadow. Right click on them and group them together. And we've now got two clouds that look pretty sweet. You can just duplicate these and make them different sizes to make them look a bit different. Okay, so do whatever you need to do. You can go and make some more clouds if you wanted to. Um, it's up to you. But you get the idea of how you should be able to make clouds now. Okay, so when you're done, just save that up, and I'll catch you in the next video.